Uh, it's the fact that every day when you get up, you choose to teach. You make a choice to come in to make a difference. And you really want to relate to the students so that they can relate to their content. Technology kind of started out natural, you know, I had a computer in the house and um, in school we were using it in a computer lab, but then I noticed that, you know, as I got older, technology in society was growing and becoming more diverse and it was becoming more of a fad or a thing to use really. Um, and it just kind of something now I use every day. The iPad program is in its third year now, the scope of the program, and when we first started, it started as just a couple of classes in the school had iPads. Not the whole, the whole school did not have iPads. Um, and it was just a slow process over time to incorporate to get to the whole school having them. And it gets more involved every year. The idea is at the end of five years that they're um, fully, truly grasping and using it. They were used for certain things like note taking, a resource for the classroom here and there, and it's a full technology driven school now. So every student has an iPad, every class uses the iPad. We use the iPad all day, every day for all of our tasks and assignments. It's helping us a lot because like we have, instead of carrying around a bunch of books and everything, all we have to do is just carry one little thing. We have all of our information right there when we need it and it helps so much. We have an app called Notability and you can make folders for a special class and whenever someone gives you notes, you can either write them down like with a pencil at the, um, attachment on there or you can just use your finger. And if you'd rather take a picture of this graphic. I think that I thought it was gonna be easier since like I don't like writing on paper because my hand hurts so bad and it just like, it hurts my hand after a while writing so long. So it's like easier for me on an iPad because like I'm mostly on my phone and I'm always typing. So it's like really fast and I get it done easy. Sometimes we don't type, we draw our information or whatever on it and then it's hard because I'm really bad drawing on an iPad too and it was like it, take, it took me some time to be able to do that so I'm getting used to it and it's much more easier for me and you don't have to carry around books because they're all on your iPad. Their textbooks are on the iPad, uh, all their calculators on the iPad, they take all their notes on the iPad. Uh, quizzes and any assessment is given on the iPad, whether it be formal or informal. Um, on occasion, we do veer from that, depending on the needs of the class, the needs of the topic that we're covering. I would say that this school is probably one of the best schools I've been in, insofar as throughout observation student teaching, subbing, um, many different placements that I've been in in Ohio and West Virginia. This school has the best internet connection that I've out of the ones I've been in. Um, I would say that probably though everybody could probably use a catch-up. School-wide internet could always go faster. <laughs> it would always be a huge benefit.